In this tutorial, a web-based event parity coding is demonstrated. The web page is designed using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript coding. Parity coding is part of error control codes, which are applied in channel coding found in modern digital communication systems. A typical digital communication system is made of the binary source that generates the message, which is fed into the channel encoder that generates the code word. The purpose of the channel encoder is to generate uh, parity bits that are added to the message in order to protect the message from any noise found in the channel. The output of the channel is then the received code word which is fed into the channel decoder that determines whether an error has occurred in the received code word. If there's an error, it will try to correct it uh, and then extract the uh, message. So the received message is then passed into the destination. There are two types of parity coding, even and odd parity coding. In this tutorial, we will focus on even parity coding. The parity bit, which is uh, generated by the channel encoder and added to the message, is obtained by counting the number of ones in the message. If the number of ones is uh, even, then the parity bit is zero. If the number of ones is odd, then the parity bit is uh, one. The objective is to have a code word here, which has an even number of ones. The purpose of the channel decoder is to count the number of ones in the received code words. If it is even, then no error has occurred and the message is extracted and fed into the destination. On the other hand, if the number of ones in the code word is odd, then this implies a single error has occurred, but the channel decoder can determine which bit is an error, so it will ask from the transmitter to retransmit the code word. Now keep in mind that the code will fail if there are two or more errors. So the detection capability of this uh, parity bit coding is single bit error without correction. To demonstrate even parity coding, I have designed this interactive web page where we have uh, transmitter and receiver elements of a communication system. On the transmitter side, our message is three bits wide, fed into the encoder that generates the parity bit, which is added to the message to give us the four bit uh, code word. The generated code word is then sent over a noisy channel and at the receiver side it is received and checked by the decoder. If the received code word has no error, then the decoder will extract the message and pass it to the destination. If the decoder detects a single error in the received code word, then an error message will be issued. Now keep in mind that the code will fail when we have two or more errors. Let's say we want to transmit the message 100. We click on the encoder. So now this is the generated code word. And you can see here the received code word is the same as the transmitted. So the decoder says it's OK and extracts the message. Let's try another example. Let's say the message is 011. We click on the encoder, so this is the generated code word, and you can see here that the received code word does not match the transmitted code word because the number of ones here is odd, not even. So the detector will say that a single error has occurred and it will reject the uh, received code word. Let's try another example. Now note here that the transmitted code word does not match the received code word, but the decoder says that the uh, received code word is OK, and it extracts the message, which is not the same as the transmitted message. The reason for this is that we have two errors, and as I said, the code will fail when you have two or more errors. A quick look at the code used to develop the web page. I will focus on the JavaScript part of the code, so when we click on the encoder button, this function is called. 
and the first thing we do inside the function is to read the message bits and store them in their appropriate uh, variables and then we generate the parity bit which is the exclusive OR between the message bits then we generate the code word and then we display the code word on the output field we assume that we have a noisy channel that will impact two bits of the transmitted code word so here we are randomly flipping digits D0 and D1 of the code word so now we have the received code word and then we want to count the number of ones in the uh, received code words so if the number of ones is even in this case we don't have an error and uh, we display the OK message and uh, extract the uh, message and display it on the output field otherwise if the number one is odd then we need to display an error message and reject the code word in a future tutorial I will design a web page that simulates a 7-4 Hamming code that has the capability of detecting and correcting single errors thank you for watching